Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes. And I do not do personal readings, just FYI. Okay, so today I'd like to do Jake Rosenberg. Um, the body language guy did a video on him. So that's what kind of sparked this. I, I want to find out what he... Um, what, what he thinks of Meghan Markle. He worked with her on the TIG. He was a photographer for her. Markle, as she as a narcissist that we know she is, she claims that she did all the work herself, but she did not. They seem to be awfully chummy, chummy, chummy prior to uh, Marcus Anderson. So it, it appears as though Jake introduced Markle to Marcus Anderson. And, you know, Markle had a stylist. She had Jake do the photo. She had two ghost writers, or what she called editor-in-chiefs, do her lovely little TIG post. And we know she wants to get that up and going again. And, um, yeah, so she, she just doesn't do things herself. So, basically, people were wondering who came first, Jake or Marcus. Uh, it appears as though Jake came first. He's younger than Marcus, uh, and probably did the introduction, which also got her into uh, Soho House with the high glam photos. Uh, she was in Splash Tabloid Magazine. Then after they they featured her, apparently, I guess she tried suing them or something, and then they went bankrupt. Uh, so there seems to be a, a huge fallouts every t everywhere Markle goes. So this is the deck I'm going to use today. It is the Everyday Witch. So I did a bunch of shuffling. I did this. And it was funny. I had the devil card with the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, he knows she likes to make money. And he knows that she likes to find a fuel matrix. Yes, definitely into a fuel matrix, no doubt. So I thought that was kind of fun that it popped out. What's popping out now? Knight of Cups. And she likes to chase men. Yep, she wants a lover. And she does it through getting in her fuel matrix because it gives her opportunities, financial opportunities. So that is going out the gate there. Uh, let's get, how does Jake feel about Meghan Markle now? How does he feel about her since he's worked with her? I will take these and work with these for starters. For starters, we have here Ten of Cups. He considered her almost like family. They hung out, they partied, they snacked, they worked together. Uh, it felt like a family at one point in time. Very uh, abundance, just an abundant feeling. And the challenging position is the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, it was a bad plan. Two of Pentacles is working. Odin. Odin wants to say hello, you guys, sorry. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles, excuse me, is the Equilibrium card, balancing act of negative and positive, coping, coping with the various demands. Ah. And working with her was not easy because she was so demanding, it, it just became too much couldn't cope and basically in over his head and had to uh couldn't handle it and dropping the ball but at first it felt it felt cozy and warm and wonderful celebratory you know wow look at us we're just having such a great time until it wasn't such a great time <clears throat> common theme here and then in reverse here we have the empress in reverse yeah she's not a nurturing loving she's not the embodiment of love there's there was no peace here uh, couldn't birth new things with her because she's pretty um, ruthless, as we know. Doesn't have a smooth bone in her body. At the bottom of the deck, he knew she wanted to rise up. Queen of Wands. Yep, she was going to rise up. You're going to get me there. And then she's going to claim uh, that she did it by herself, just like she did with her dad. I did this all by myself. Nobody helped me. He didn't get the credit he deserved, and so it's looking like there was a giving up here. Past position that doesn't serve is the judgment in reverse. Uh, he has a hard time forgiving her. Uh, he realizes she doesn't go inward. Uh, there's a lot of grudges there, but he doesn't want to hang on to those grudges. He wants to let them go. The grudges don't serve him, so he's trying to let go of them. He's going try, wants to go to the, to the tune of his own beat here. Uh, but, you know, she was pretty uh, difficult, I would say, with the judgment in reverse. And uh, basically lacking awareness. There was a lot of failure, uh, inner critic and self-loathing from probably getting sucked in. And going to the future, we have Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands is upright. Fun-looking duck here, as you can see. Seven of Wands is protecting a point of view. 
uh, being defensive and alert, guarded, uh, you know, success is going to be hard won, you know, okay, we can do this, Megan, it's going to be hard won, but we're going to do it, and we're going to put your point of view across. Uh, basically, it became giving up, uh, couldn't win with her, he couldn't get his point of view in, I think she always has to be a boss, claim ownership of everything, You just, she just can't work with people, uh, inability to hold ground, and even if that opinion is unpopular, just having an inability to defend yourself, uh, there's too much defensive energy between them, and uh, feeling like that success being hard won just wasn't really worth it, he just couldn't defend himself. He couldn't win. He could never win anything with her. With those wands in reverse, uh, it was just basically unachievable aims in terms of getting anything across to her uh, because there was just so much guarded, alert energy being around her. So he probably had a lot of fight or flight and anxiety is what it feels like here. Yeah, and so he just knows she just wanted, she was in it for herself here with this rising up with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is, is basically fearless. Uh, you know, the Queen of Wands is someone who is likes that social media. Uh, it is social media. It's very aggressive. Uh, it's, it's being in the social realm. It's very public. Uh, this is someone who likes the stage, very courageous. It's the spotlight queen. So he knew she had to be in the spotlight. He could not, he couldn't grab any of it. Uh, she was just all about herself. And the next position here is the feelings in the situation. I have two reverse ones here. Seven of Swords in reverse with the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, uh, basically with these two, Seven of Swords upright. I'll let you see it upright. Seven of, sword, swords, seven of Swords upright is the Thief card. That is that snake in the grass. That is a person who works against you. That is someone who just steals things, a shady character. Uh, there's a lot of constant anxiety um just just always this dishonesty here tactics not working very shady it's a no win situation kind of card here uh getting getting busted the truth comes out exposed lies um unmasking consequences so basically he's just he realized she was just too shady and it, it was just kind of coming out he's realizing that she was pretty shady probably started to realize what a narcissist she is and then we have here the King of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's an emotional manipulator. Uh, King of Cups in reverse uh, doesn't have emotional regulation. Uh, so she wanted to be the leader. She needed, she thought that she could probably, she probably behaved like this, like she was love bombing him. I love everybody. I love you. I love him. I love her. I love, love, love everybody. And I'm just has this emotional stability and I have this ability to connect people emotionally. I'm so emotionally available. I'm so emotionally honest. I can give you great emotional advice. Not so true. He found out the opposite is true. She's very vindictive. She has instability emotional blackmail she's depressed she's anxious he felt anxious there was moodiness total emotional outbursts between them tantrums and fights she probably threw so many tantrums and fights because she wanted to mask and keep a lot of lives of how her posts were going what the truth truth of her life was in these posts this tig this tig fantasy moon card probably of smoke and mirrors she wanted to keep that smoke and mirrors and illusion going and he had to he had to probably protect a lot of that um probably wasn't comfortable because he realized she was a shady character and that she truly is not a loving individual you know not a nurturing individual she really could not birth things on her own because that empress in, is in reverse really had to drop the ball on her uh you know basically could not keep fighting and defending himself it just got to be too much and, you know, with this one here, the judgment in reverse, just no forgiveness. The arguments, there was no forgiveness after probably arguments. She probably painted him black and just started devaluing him more than likely. Let's go into the outside influences affecting Jake. The outside influences affecting Jake. Here we go. We have here nine of swords. Yeah, nine of swords. It became a problem of a bothered conscience, mental anguish. Uh, he learned his lesson. It was something over the past. There was a lot of anguish, uh, fear-based, rumination. People saw him as not probably doing too well. They're probably like, wow, you're not doing too well. Something's really bothering you. You seem depressed every time you work with her. Um, you seem like, you know, you're afraid of her. What, what's up with this chick? 
uh, you're ruminating constantly. You seem like you're constantly bothered by something. You're not quite yourself. So he had his friends mentioning it more than likely to him that he kind of lost his sense of self, which happens when you're involved with these control freaks. Uh, they got to rule the show, call the shots. You're their slave, and then they take ownership. And that just really bothered him. It just was too much. That's weeping, crying. Oh, my God, what did I get myself into? Next position here, the hopes and fears. Hopes and fears for Jake. More than likely going to get the fear aspect. Hopes and fears, and we got the fear aspect. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, wow, a lot of reversals here on the table. <laughs> we only got one upright where she wants to rise up, and then we got the friend, the, the Ten of Cups originally. Then all these other ones, uh, and this one's up, but a lot of reversals. Wow, okay, so this hopes and fears is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse so basically hitting a wall they hit a wall um you know that slow and steady wins the race he just felt like the race was too hard too hard to win working for her too difficult of a woman to work for uh the struggles weren't worth it the the insomnia the nightmares not worth it if someone's just such a nightmare to work with literally takes your life and it feels like a bad omen it's time to say, I don't think so. We're not doing this anymore. So it did hit a wall. At some point in time, it hit a wall. More than likely, she probably dumped him. Said he wasn't living up to her standards because that's usually how it goes down. Uh, but it did hit a wall. And um, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is basically she could not stand on her own. And basically wanting full stop and giving up. So they gave up on each other in essence. And let's get to the final outcome for Jake. For Jake. Jake Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Jake Rosenberg. Final call for Jake Rosenberg is the Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Celebration. Parties. So basically, Four of Wands is taking a break, enjoying your life. After hitting a wall, after hitting a wall and giving up on each other, he started to enjoy his life again. <laughs> yes he started having fun he started going out with friends he started to feel good in his skin again uh joy came back uh you know he could go do parties he you know this well-earned break from her taking pride in his own accomplishments because she wasn't giving him uh the credit for his work she took full credit for it so now he could take pride in the accomplishments unwind and let go because he doesn't have a control freak uh probably texting calling on his back constantly we know how she is with employees or anyone that works with her very difficult you're on speed dial you're, she's probably calling every i've got a new creative idea i found this picture of this model we've got to do this look oh look at this model over here you have to recreate this image see this hair here i gotta have this i need this makeup here the, the, see these shoes i need this so the demands are probably off the charts because that's how she functions we know that from her previous past previous past predicts the future she didn't change with him as she has with anybody else hugely demanding at this point in time, he was able to celebrate and enjoy life again. Wow. He was able to connect with other people and really feel the harmonious energy in himself. You know, just really actually feel joy again after working with her. Uh, because with her, it was just terrible. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's get to the center of the deck. Center of the deck here, we have here Knight of Wands. So then he became the Knight of Wands, Fearless New Direction. So he was able to go in a new direction with business because we have the mountains there. Mountains, I think I actually like this deck. Um, mountains represent, um, you know, business and obstacles. He was able to face new obstacles with passion. He's got his, his red cape on and the witch is behind him, you know, probably clinging on for dear life. No, don't leave me. So she probably was just riding his coattails. This is how I feel with this. <laughs> and uh, we're paired with the Page of Wands. So, wow, we've got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. So basically, both of them is a fearless new direction. He felt young again. He felt vital again. Uh, he had he can go down this curvy path, this winding path to to just abundance 
and feeling wonderful in life. Uh, very energi energi energized because it's a want two wands here. He can address what makes him tick because we've got two wands here. I get to do what I want to do. I don't have this nagging witch hanging and clinging on to me uh, for dear life. He can go after what his ego wants, what his enthusiasm wants, what his self-concept, what his vision in photography was. A wand is very creative. It's the creative energy. He can go with his own ambition, his own movements, and take action and put his own personal energy into it and really do what makes him tick versus what made Markle tick and, put, and all the demands and her clinging on to him for dear life. So really energized and felt wonderful is the center of the deck. And then we have here, it, the relationship came to an end. Uh, and it became, you know, a choice they had to make. It was a choice. It was a decision, a difficult decision to end the relationship, the death. It wasn't physical death, but just the end of something. The past was relinquished. It's a goodbye card. See you later. Don't need you. And he had increased self-awareness at that point in time to be very careful as to who he chooses as a client to rep to do photographs for. Uh, he probably needed to call out and, and jump ship much sooner. Uh, so he, he learned a valuable lesson uh, with the Seven of Cups. Uh, it was a challenge. It did challenge him. But now he needs to choose more wisely. It's an emotional decision. He needs to make sure he decides wisely because it can turn very reckless. It can also turn into gaslighting. Uh, and so... You know, basically, he, he he learned that lesson. It was a lesson that he learned. It was a challenge, but a lesson. And so, basically, that's good. He learned something by working with her. He learned how difficult someone can be. Yes, definitely. I like this deck. This is fun imagery here. Hope you like it. I haven't worked with it. I've had it for a while, but that is fun. Let's get uh, a few other cards here. Where am I? 16 minutes. I'm just going to pull a few here. Jake Rosenberg, how did he feel about her? What we have here, the main male in reverse. He was the main male in her life till he decided he wasn't going to be the one to take care of her. She was the main female. And we have false person. Yep, she, he didn't like working with her. That's basically that seven of swords. Uh, the person who's the snake in the grass, the shady character. The tactics he was using to please her was not working. And everything came to light. The dishonesty, the constant anxiety. That's why we got that, you know, um, the nine of swords. He had constant anxiety, rumination. Very fear-based of her. She was just too much to work for. Just causing a lot of insomnia and ter just terrible working for her. I don't think he's going to ever want to work with her again. If he did... Uh, it would only be because he's at a low point in his career, and I don't see that happening. All right, you guys, till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.